So, yeah, I can't really see the title, but The Secret Language of Flowers by Samantha Gray. So, there's four different parts, courtship, love and affection, beauty, and friendship. Um, it, each section is in alphabetical order, and you can tell that the images are kind of like photoshopped, <laughs> but like the, they chose a fairly decent background for the flowers, like it doesn't, it's not overpowering the flower itself. And so what you're basically getting is like this one page of imagery for the flower. And so you're getting the name of it, so Garnenia. Um, so like some sort of key, um, keywords or phrase for it. Um, some like information like history, uh, in France, especially, uh, Garnenia was a traditional buttonhole flower worn by men on important occasions. Um, you get s stuff like in China, Chinese herbal medicine, um, Garnenias are used to calm anxiety and irritability. And so you get random facts about the flower. It's not, here's how to grow it. It's the kind of meaning of the flower and you get um, at the bottom like if you love Garnania, daffodils, da dandelions or whatever. So and like if there's different like different types like the color uh, this one is like dreaming of carnations and like the different colors of them. Um, so like if there's any kind of like um, different types, there is that um, separation so lilies the madonna lily and so like the colors or varieties um or the few other ones that do have this will be in like a box like this and it'll be like um a sentence or two or like a phrase or something so and randomly you'll get like quotes if um about that flower but yeah and it comes with a ribbon bookmark attached to it um small hardcover type of book so if you're the type of person who loves the meaning behind plants or like or especially flowers i think this could be a good uh, start off point or addition to your collection so yeah, and usually I don't like where it's totally off it, obvious that there's two different like images put together because like that totally throws me off and I don't like it like especially in like tarot decks but they've done it where I'm okay with how they've done it so yeah. So you get a bit of history, a bit of meaning, meanings um, behind them. So yeah, the secret language of flowers. Happy readings.